Ian's heart rate is up. He's off the ventilator. Okay. His condition has improved enough to proceed with the surgery if that's what you want. If that's what we want, we gotta fix his heart. Yeah, that's what we want. What do you mean by that? Before we jump to that decision, it's important that you fully understand the risks that your son will be facing. Ian's case has an additional element of risk in that he recently underwent a sternotomy to fix the hole in his heart. A second invasive procedure could open old adhesions or cause excessive bleeding. There are other complications that could arise from the anesthesia and post-op. There's always the chance of infection, respiratory problems. You're trying to talk us out of the surgery? No. I just want you to have all the facts. If he doesn't have the operation, he could die. And if he does, he could die. I'll leave you to make your decision. What are we going to do? What kind of choice is this? We agree to do the surgery, he could die. We don't, he could die. What are we supposed to do? How are we supposed to do this? I mean, we're his parents. We're supposed to be able to, to help him, to help our son, to save him, to protect him. Ian wasn't supposed to survive the first week, not the first day. But he's here. I remember the first time I got to hold him. Put him up against my chest, so tiny. And I could feel his heart beating, strong and steady. That's when I knew he was going to be OK. Just like now. Strong and steady. When he had the brain hemorrhage, I wasn't there. Kendall. No, his heart stops, I'm not there. What are you here now? That hemorrhage and that surgery. I was so afraid I'd lose him. I remember I, I would sit next to his incubator. And I would imagine Ian saying his first word and starting his first day at school, riding a bike for the first time, reading a book to himself, playing baseball with his baseball. dad. What's wrong with hockey? It's too dangerous. <laughs> I saw Ian go to high school, get his driver's license, go to college. And I talked to him. Remember that, sweet boy? I talked to you. I told you the surgery would work. And I told you that everything would be OK. And not to be afraid, because we all had each other. I think he'll be a traveler. After college, he'll go to all these really weird places, call us and tell us he's OK. Maybe tell us that he met a girl. I'm gonna go find David. Kendall? Is, is it Ian? Is it, how is he? His heart rate is up. Oh, thank God. We've decided to tell David to go ahead with the surgery. Okay, all right, I'll be right there.
We've made a decision, David. We would like for you to do the operation. Is there a problem? We'll get Ian prepped. We'll take care of your son. I'm going to do my best work. Thank you. I'll be sending up prayers. I'll let you see him soon. Cynthia, assemble the cardiac team and the pump techs for a pediatric valve repair. You're a very lucky little boy. You're gonna have the same doctor I had. And he is very good at fixing hearts. Your mom is right, you're gonna hit a home run. It's baseball talk, I know you don't like hockey, too dangerous. I'll be right back. How is he doing? I think he's gonna make it, Mom. I, I, I really do. I, I can feel it. Of course he is. Of course he's gonna make it. <sighs> so are you and Zach. Meaning? I saw Ryan. And you told him to back away? Yes, I did. I'm gonna go see my boy. Ready to go. Hey. Mom and Daddy love you very much. All right? We're going to be right here. So you come back to us as quick as you can. You heard her. Come on. decision. 